Welcome back. You're here with us on Morning News Hour. The nation is celebrating the new year with parties, outings and vacations. But there are some who are standing guard at the frontiers, braving the chill and snow even on New Year's Eve. Take a look at this report sent by my colleague Sohil Tehran from an army post along the LOC in Kupwara. While the rest of the country is busy celebrating the new year, many of our Indian soldiers and officers are guarding the post at high altitudes. On the occasion of New Year, we are reporting from a post along the line of control in Kapwara to tell as how the, the challenges are being faced by the officers and army jawans on daily basis. Snow is accumulated to 7 feet, night temperature plunges to minus 15 and 16 and at the same time, the, the regular practice of the firing and patrolling never stops. Behind me you can see a team of the Indian Javans, Indian Army Javans who are coming down from a regular patrolling. And this is a high altitude where even it becomes difficult for Army Javans, for normal people to breathe. But this is the regular practice of these Army Javans to climb and come down to ensure that the patrolling makes something for them to ensure that every Indian citizen sleeps peacefully because that's how the Indian Army Javans are spreading across the line of control trying to ensure that the news, new year becomes always successful and peaceful for the fellow countrymen. And these Army Javans are coming down from uh, patrolling which is a regular pr uh, practice as I'll tell Shafiq to pan the camera to show that how the snow is accumulated on these high peaks and every day these Army Javans have to climb and go for uh, the firing practice as well because this the area from where we are reporting is also a target of the artillery shelling from pa Pakistan occupied Kashmir and the night temperature also plunged to minus 15 in which it becomes very difficult for this personnel to perform the duties but they are always ready to tackle any situation 10,000 feet above the sea level here we are reporting from a post along the line of control in Kopwara where snow is accumulated to almost 5 feet. And at the same time you get to read this, there is from the army, someone somewhere is training to kill you, what are you doing today? At the same time, the practice, the training of the army never stops, whether it's accumulation of snow, shelling from the POK, or any other incident. Even if the rains are coupled with snow, the training process never stops. Here you can see the army javans, they're always ready to tackle any situation. In the snowfall, when they're shelling from across the border, these javan never stop their practice. This is a firing range which starts every day. They check their target and also prepare themselves to tackle any situation because this is the post where there is always artillery shelling from across the border so these are the javans at the firing range checking their targets preparing for every situation snow accumulation of more than five feet temperature plunged to minus 15 sometimes and at the same time there's also snowstorm because as we are as i already mentioned we are reporting from a area which is from a post which is almost 10,000 feet above the sea level where the survival is completely different for these javans because it's completely snowing there's rains also so army soldiers along with the army officers brave harsh condition to ensure that every citizen of this country have a will have a peaceful time a peaceful year on the occasion of New Year, we are reporting from this area to show that what challenges are being faced by the Army Javans and officers. Because at an area where there is snow accumulates to 8 feet, 7 feet, and that night temperature plunges to minus 15. And it's completely different for a normal person to think about it. But these Army Javans brave the harsh condition to ensure that every person in this country will have a peaceful time. While the rest of the country is busy celebrating New Year, many of our Indian Army soldiers and officers are braving harsh conditions along the line of control here in Kupwara. As we are reporting from a post along the line of control, many Indian soldiers are posted here for six months. It's snow and gusty winds 
which these army jawans and officers face day and night i'll tell video journalist shafiq to show you that how these mountains are and what is the deployment of the indian army soldiers to ensure that every indian citizen celebrates this new year peacefully for these jawans and officers it's very difficult for them to have a celebration of new year but they ensure they perform their duty that every indian citizen uh is happy throughout the year and there is peace across the region across the country you can see these are the indian army soldiers who are on patrolling to the uh, through these high peaks through these mountains uh, where there is snow accumulated to 7 to 8 feet and they, this is their regular routine and many of these uh, jawans are stationed and posted here for months along with the officers and these officers have a duty of taking care of every jawan to ensure that they they don't face any problem but at the same time they don't uh, only face the snow or gusty winds but at the same time there is also artillery shelling from across the border and this happens around the year whether it's summer but in winters also in the recent past we have seen how there was ceasefire violation from Pakistan from pa Pakistan occupied Kashmir where the Indian army is uh, where the Pakistani army is posted from there there was continuously uh, shelling mortar shelling as well as the artillery shelling as we are reporting from a post uh, there sometimes these people these army jawans also face the problem of the artillery shelling this is the area where the snow is accumulated to 5 to 6 feet and this has been the regular practice for these army jawans but at the same time they ensure that none of the indian citizen face any problem and there is peace across the border there is peace across the country uh, well uh, winter here uh, in itself is a major challenge for us uh, especially to carry out our uh, operation tasks so we carry out lot of preparations before winter set uh, sets out mm -hmm. so major challenges we have here uh, first is snow and high wind another is uh, our uh, avalanche and uh, 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 snow bound areas from where the slide can come and next is uh, the cold injuries is a major issue in winters and uh, uh, fourth is uh, any casualty evacuation or only so you always get prepare for the evacuation yes, because we we prepare we start our preparation uh, you know like before the winter sets out basically routes uh, road routes get closed during winters and all movements are foot based and uh, major challenges uh, which come during uh, winters is handling of the equipment it becomes very cold you have to be in proper clothing you have to wear proper gloves if you handle that equipment that might lead to lead to a cold injury mm -hmm. and uh, movements are to be carried out Uh, only at nights because uh, during the day if uh, the day is sunny and uh, it's very bright the snow might come down and uh, sli slide can take take away the whole column which is moving i believe in mountain terrain uh, physical capacity and the cognitive uh, effectiveness of the troops uh, it gets delayed if proper drills uh, are not followed mm -hmm. and we ensure the proper drills to be followed Uh, there are high alt sicknesses uh, you know high alt cerebral edema mm -hmm. pulmonary edema and hypothermia mm -hmm. and cold injuries like uh, frostbite mm -hmm. chill blains okay. and uh, we follow the drills basically acclimatization drills before inducting the uh, troops to the uh, higher posts